Hi, Jeff. Uh, a couple of questions, if I may. Um, I'll, basically, it's about uh, your your eye condition. Now, when exactly? We, we heard that it was about a week ago, but but what caused it to uh, flare up like that? And secondly, um, what have your young sons thought of this unusual look of their dad? Uh, yeah, I mean, it all it's all related to the uh, the incident that happened. So. Um, I won't go further on that, but uh, yeah, when I, kids are at school, when I, when I came home and uh, they, they, uh, my wife gave them a warning and they came in, didn't want to look at me and um, decided that I would be the villain and they'd be the superheroes and started playing. So that got them, uh, that got them to relax and um, feel a little bit more comfortable now. Or Pon Basu. Uh, hey Jeff, looking looking good this morning. Um, did could you take us through the process of deciding what level of comfort you needed to be able to play? And just you know, over the Don mentioned that you wanted to play in Game Four against Winnipeg, so obviously you wanted to play for a while. What's the progression been like of of your condition, and and what did it come down to last night at the last minute? Uh, yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's come along. It just, uh, it was something that I need to get time. Um, you know, talking with the doctors, uh, getting a timeline and, um, you know, coming up with, with what made sense, but what was, uh, I guess, realistic. And, uh, you know, I tried to push through and see, and, uh, you know, try more and more things in practice, uh, to see if they'd be comfortable or, or manageable. And, and for me, it was just a matter of um, when I felt like I could, um, when I felt like I could play without, you know, hurting the team um, is when I, uh, you know, gave the, the coaching staff and the trainers, um, you know, my, my opinion and my, my want to get in the lineup. Eric Angles. Hi Jeff, to what uh, to what extent when you see what what Shea Weber has been able to do uh, in the way he, the way I mean I, it, there's it's hard to keep a secret around this time or much harder now and and you know we saw images of Shea and his thumb and wasn't able to hold the stick before the playoffs like when you see stuff like that how how much does it go into your own process of really trying to get back even faster than you should be able to? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he's a guy that's, uh, um, you know, battled through injuries the last uh, the last couple of years and to see, um, you know, the competitiveness and his want wanting to be on the ice. And, you know, there's guys, you know, on our team, other teams that are are, are dealing with injuries. And, and this is the time of the year that, uh, you know, it's important to, um, you know, to get out there and, and play through it if it's uh, if you're able. So, um, you know. It's uh, obviously the biggest, biggest time of the year. So, um, you know, I want to do everything in my, my power to, to get back and um, to get back as quickly as I could. Jonathan Bernier. Thanks, Sam. Uh, hello, Jeff. Uh, how, how does this end uh, feel this morning? And what part of your, your game was maybe the most uh, affected last night, even though you seem uh, pretty comfortable on the ice? Um, yeah, it feels good this morning. So, um, responded well, um, after a game and, you know, for me, it's just a matter of, uh, you know, didn't do too many battles in practice. So, um, it was kind of taking things on the fly and seeing what worked, what didn't. And, um, you know, overall I felt, uh, um, you know, I felt good. I mean, I, I, I have to use my my skating ability and uh, the physical play might be a little uh, you know a little different than you know using my stick using my my uh, my legs um, to uh, you know to get through the games and and to to play and that's that's something that you know I've always um, you know I think is always my best asset is my legs, my skating ability. So just focusing uh, on, on doing that and closing quickly. Luke Jelena. 
Merci, Sam. Good morning, Jeff. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but it looked like uh, you had a kind of a special love uh, to play the, yesterday. How important was it to have a special protection to your hand? And was it tough to manage that with the, the, the trainers uh, to build maybe uh, that love? No, no. Uh, Pat, our trainer, is uh, he's an equipment engineer. Uh, you tell him what you need and you tell him what you want and he'll find a way to get it done. And, you know, it, it took him no time to to get that done. And, um, you know, we played around with a, a couple different uh, minor tweaks, but we got it to where I was, where I was comfortable with, uh, with holding a stick and um, with the, enough padding to protect, uh, to protect everything. So, um, yeah, uh, I got to give props to him for, for coming up with this so quickly. Take a couple more for Jeff, Michael Trakos. Hey Jeff, just to get some clarity, if this were the regular season, say like just kind of a, a meaningless part of the schedule or so-called meaningless part of the schedule, would you be in the lineup or is this something that uh, you're, you're sort of, you're playing because it is the playoffs um, and where you normally would be resting right now? Um, I mean, it's hard to tell. Um, obviously um, in a regular part of the season, you can always take a little bit more time to, to take care of yourself and make sure that, uh, you know, everything heals. But, uh, you know, like you said, it is the playoffs. It is the most important time of the year. So, um, you know, with, with any injury that you're, you're dealing with, you're, you're trying to cut the, the, the timeline down and, and get out there as quick as possible. Last one, Richard Labbé. Yeah, hi, Jeff. Was there a bit of a cat and mouse game going on last night? Because uh, you know, for a while there, it looked like you didn't go in. You weren't going going to go in. The team tweeted that you were not on there. Or was it was it like a a last minute thing? Did you know you were going to be playing all the time? Or um, yeah, I did. I uh, I knew that. Uh, uh, well, I told them in the morning that uh, that I wanted to play, and everything felt good. And um, you know, it was down to you know, seeing how it responded after pushing it a little bit harder after morning skate. And, uh, you know, for me showing up to the rink, showed up at my normal time, um, knowing that it felt good and, uh, you know, was very likely to be playing. Thanks for your time, Jeff.